Hello, you have joined the web Demystified. In this video, we'll learn what files are needed for a web page and the basics of how the browser works. To create a web page, the first file you need is an HTML file. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is a language used to create web pages. Inside the HTML file, you can write the content of your web page. You can also add images, videos, links, and other elements to your web page. Think of HTML as the skeleton of your web page. The second crucial file you need to create a web page is called CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. It is a language used to style your web page. With CSS, you can change the color of your text, the background color of your web page, the font size, font family, and many other things. CSS allows you to create a web page with the design and style that you want. You can think of CSS as the skin of your web page. To make your web page interactive, you need JavaScript. JavaScript is a scripting language that enables you to create interactive web pages. With JavaScript, you can add animations, pop ups, forms, and many other elements to your web page. You can imagine JavaScript as the muscles of your web page. Now we know the three main files for a web page. But how exactly does the browser find these files? This is where the server comes in. This server is a computer that stores your files and sends them to the browser when requested. The server and browser communicate with each other using HTTP. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. HTTP works as a request-response protocol between the browser and the server. The browser sends a request to the server like, hey, I need the index.html file, and the server responds with the requested file. The browser can send additional requests to the server like, hey, I also need the style.css file, and the server responds with the requested file. This is a simplified explanation of how the HTTP protocol works. Nowadays, almost all websites use HTTPS instead of HTTP. HTTPS is the same thing as HTTP, but the information being sent between the browser and the server is encrypted. This makes it more secure. To open a web page in the browser, you usually type something like google.com in the address bar. But the server where the files are stored doesn't know about the google.com domain. Instead, server has a unique IP address. That means when you type google.com in the address bar, the browser needs to convert the domain name into the IP address of the server. This process is called domain name resolution. And this video comes to an end. Today we've learned which files are needed for a web page and the basics of how the browser works. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you in the next video.